Amen, the 31st, amen, 2014. Amen, you may have your seats in presence of the Lord. We thank and praise God for just another opportunity uh, to stand before you behind the sacred desk to give God's name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen, praise God. These are trying times as well as praying times. Amen, we honor the spirit of Christ that's in this place to the fivefold ministry. We greet you with the Holy Word, peace. Peace be multiplied. Amen. We just thank the Lord that we are here. Amen. We are in our right mind. We, amen. We are in a sound mind. And we have a mind, amen, to serve the Lord. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. For in the house of the Lord, the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Amen. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Somebody ought to taste him and see that he is good. Once you taste him, you're going to want some more. Amen. Praise God. Because we know that this is the time for the refreshing of the Lord. Amen. He that hung and thirst after him shall be filled. And we thank God for that today. We have to get out of ourselves and get into the spirit. And when I was in the spirit, he told me some things. He showed me some things when I was in the spirit. Amen. When you get into the spirit, amen, he'll show you uh, your friends and your enemies too. Amen. When you're in the spirit. And so we thank God for that today. We thank God that, amen, praise God, that, that the Lord has brought us, amen, just about 20 years in this ministry. Amen. The Cornerstone Church of Chicago. Amen. We thank the Lord that this is the house that faith built. Amen. That's what we're going to talk about today. We want to talk about, amen, just the gift of faith. Amen. It takes something nowadays to stand. Amen. It takes something, amen, that you can't see with the natural eye, but it's a thing called faith. Amen. One of the gifts amen, of the spirit, and we just thank God for that gift today, amen, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, I believe it says, for we walk by faith and not by sight, amen, praise God, and so faith is very important, just like the spirit of discernment, amen, you have to really have a keen spirit of discernment nowadays, Amen. Praise God to live in times in which we live. Amen. Praise God. And I just thank God today that it is a spiritual thing and it is a spiritual walk that we are on. Amen. I just want to take your attention uh, this morning for a few minutes as the Spirit allow. Uh, St. Mark, the 11th chapter. Amen. And the 20th through the 24th verses. Amen. We're going to St. Mark. The 11th chapter, 20 through 24. Amen? Amen. When you get it, say amen. 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 We're going to start reading at that 20th verse. And uh, we're going to end up uh, at the 24th verse. We're going to read through that. Amen. Uh, when you see that red writing, you know Jesus is speaking. And these are times we have to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen? The Bible says, those that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. We go up to the 20th verse. Uh, let us read together. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou curses is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, say this mountain, this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says 
said shall come to pass, and he shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, say when you pray, when you pray. believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Just shout, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You may be seated <laughs> in the presence of the Lord. When you pray, you got to believe, amen, that you receive them, amen, and ye shall have them. Amen. What's yours is yours, and what's mine is mine. Amen. amen. Praise God. Not, not saying that we can't share. Amen. But God has a blessing with your name on it. And can't nobody receive it but you. Amen. Praise God. But it's going to take a little thing called faith here to receive it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because God will give you the grace. Amen. To receive that thing in his name if you believe it. Amen. If you're going to pray, amen, why not believe what you're praying about? Amen. Why doubt in your heart when you're praying for something? Amen. When you want something bad enough, you'll go after it. You'll, 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 you'll meditate on it. Amen. You will see yourself. Amen. Praise God with that thing that you're praying for. Amen. A long time ago, I heard a story where somebody, amen, didn't have no food, but they set the table like they had a pantry. I mean, a cupboard full of food. Food out of the refrigerator. Amen. Praise God. Just, amen. Sometimes you got to move out in faith. Look at a neighbor point and say, neighbor, faith is going to get you there. That, that's what I'm talking about today. Amen. Sometimes with our natural eye, it don't make no sense. Amen. It just seems like our hands is tied. But God's, amen, my, man's discrimity is God's opportunity. Don't forget that now. Amen. You, when you're going as far as you can go, you've done as, as much as you can do about a thing, it's time to turn it over to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ain't no sense of you worrying about things when you can give it over to the Lord. The Bible says, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. You got to stop seeing yourself the way you used to be, timid and, amen, broke down and discouraged and, Amen. Feel like you're all by yourself. You ain't never by yourself. You are never alone. You always have a friend that's sticking closer than a brother when you're walking with the Lord. I heard somebody say in the Baptist church, he walks with me. He talks with me. Y'all been to the Baptist church before, have you? And he tells me that I'm his own. Amen. I'm going to drop that in y'all spirit today, knowing, you. amen, that you're never alone with the Lord. Thank you. Amen. But it's going to take faith of the saints to get to the next level now. Because we up against some demonic forces that we haven't faced before. There's a lot of things going on now. It seems like it'll shake your very foundation if you're not careful. Amen. You, Amen. You, you'll find yourself starting to doubt some stuff because of what the natural eyes is showing you. Amen. That's why I want y'all to get that in y'all spirit. 2 Corinthians 5 and, and 7 to say that we walk by faith and not by sight. So it's not based on what you see with your natural eyes. It's what you believe in your spirit. Amen. Now, let me give you this scripture just in case some of y'all forgot to write this down in one of the Bible classes. Hebrews 11 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's what you got to grab hold to. Amen. Saints of God, you got to speak those things as not as though they were. Amen. In other words, you got to get, get it down in your spirit of what you believe in God for. Amen. Praise God. If you're gonna, if you're gonna worry, ain't no sense of you praying. Amen, somebody. But if you're gonna pray, don't you worry. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Because when you pray, you got to believe with all. You don't have no time to be doubting. You don't have no time to be negative. You don't have no time to be skeptical about what you're praying about. 
You got to shut the door and believe God no matter who believe it or not believe it with you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Like I said earlier, it's mine. You got to believe that it's yours. Amen. You, you, you just, you ain't praying based on somebody else's faith. You praying based on your faith. Because the time you got to believe God for yourself. I know the preachers pray. I know the mothers pray. Amen. I know the choir pray. I know the intercessors pray. But sometimes you got to pray for yourself. And know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that God is going to release that thing. Amen. It's going to come to pass. Amen. And you, all you have to do is believe it and you shall receive it. In Jesus name. Amen. Going back to the text, we're talking about this fig tree that Jesus had cursed. It's a fig tree that he had cursed because they was hungry and Jesus wanted something to eat and there wasn't nothing on it. So he cursed it. And the fig tree dried up from the roots. It's some stuff in our life we need, it need to be dried up from the roots. Man. See, because if you still have a root, it still have a chance to grow back again. Mm. It still have a chance to materialize. I don't care if it's a, if it's a negative attitude. I don't care if it's, amen, it's something carnal, amen, something that it shouldn't be in your life. If you just leave a little bit of root there, it has a chance to come back. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. Let me help somebody here. You say something, all I do is a little cussing. No, that thing needs to dry up. Amen. From the root. Amen. Amen. All I do is a little gambling. That thing needs to dry up. From the root. Amen. You may say, well, I, I, I used to do ten things, but now I only do one. That thing needs to dry up from the root. Amen. You got to, amen. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, it's got to dry up from the root. Amen. Not just on top, but under the bottom. Amen. There's some, there's some sub stuff in your life that needs to dry up. Amen. God wants all of you. He don't just want part of you. And then when you pray, things start to happen. By faith, it starts to happen. By faith, it starts to materialize. By faith, it shall come to pass. By faith, God will bring it to fruition in your life. Are you listening to me? Amen. This is a faith walk that we are on. Amen. Calling those things as not as though they were. Believing God to do what he said that he would do. Now that would seem like a hard thing in the natural. How can somebody curse a tree? Some folks are cursed now and don't believe it. Because the Lord said, I'll bless them that bless thee. I will curse them that curses thee. Amen. The Bible is tight, but it's right. And so, if we're walking by faith, and faith is what pleases God, then that ought to be our earnest prayer. That we would seek Him early, take time to talk with God. Seek Him early. Spend time with Him. That don't mean seek Him at just 4 o'clock in the morning and say, Well, I've been sought the Lord, now I can go on about my day. Now stay with it. Let him keep you all day. Let, amen. I woke up this morning with my mind straight on Jesus. Woke up this morning with my mind straight on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind straight on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, been all day with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. Been all day with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. Been all day with my 
trouble we get our mind we take our mind off of him and we start focusing on things that we want and don't include him when the bible say in all thy ways are not as god he shall direct your path i know i got one bible read with it here amen the bible says that he spoke to that fig tree and it dried up from the roots and peter calling to remembrance said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou curses is withered away. Somebody need to recall today some stuff Jesus has already spoken in your life. You need to just take a moment and recall that thing that Jesus said shall be. I don't care how they've been trying to make you doubt it. I don't care about the naysayers. I don't care about your foes and your enemies. I don't care about those that, amen, that, that don't like you. When Jesus has put something in your spirit, it might have been years ago. But the Holy Ghost sent me by here a way of cornerstone to let you know what he has spoken in your life. You, you are still here which means there is still time for that thing to come to pass in your life. I'm talking to somebody in here today. You are still here living, breathing, walking, praising, giving God the glory. Amen. God said, and the more you praise me, the more I bless you. And if you praise me, I'll bring it to pass. Amen. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm going to do it for you. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No matter what it looks like in the natural, it don't matter about many people. I told y'all the other study. He gonna take you. He, you gonna get your deliverance through a foolish means. Yes. Something that just don't make no sense. That's how God blesses. Sometimes we want to draw it, and we want God to do it like this. But God said, no, nah, I'm going to do it like this because the blessings come from the north. Every good and good and perfect gift comes from God. Man. Man. It's coming. Look at somebody say, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And when God brings it to pass, then everybody will see it. And it looks like your blessings, it don't come look like when, 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 amen, when you got your income tax, amen, you found a hundred thousand dollars, amen, people bringing money to you that owe you. It comes at a time, amen, when the heat is on, when you least expect it, when you, you've been tried in the fire, when, when you're going, y'all ain't hearing me, when you're going through stuff, when it looks like this is stacked up against you, yeah. when it looks like you can't see a way out, it looks like it's the darkness of the day, but I'm here to tell you today that God bless and come, amen, in the wee hours. Yeah. Your blessings come just be, the darkest hour is just before daybreak. Somebody is at your darkest hour right now, but I'm trying to encourage somebody to let you know that the darkest hour is just before daybreak. Yes. Woo, my God, I felt that. Yes. Ha! Huh. Just before daybreak. Somebody in here is at your darkest hour. I've been trying, I've been praying, I've been fasting. Amen. I've been seeking God, reading my Bible. I did what the chief apostle said. I did what the, the apostle said. I did what the five book ministry said. I did what the intercessor said. And here I am. Jesus. My God. Jesus. <sighs> the 
darkest hour. It's just before daybreak. Look at somebody say, neighbor. Daybreak. It's upon you. Yes, it is. It's upon you. It's upon you. Let me finish. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Because this encouraged me when I heard my Lord speaking and I heard my brother Peter uh, responding to what God had said, had what Jesus had said himself, amen, to them that was with him. He said, for verily I say unto you. <laughs> you got to take that personally now. I say unto you that whosoever that means uh-huh thank you whosoever shall say unto this mountain anybody got a mountain that seems like it <laughs> yeah y'all ain't gonna pray with me a, a, a mountain that may be in your life you know how that's God to, to give you the strength to climb the mountain in the Bible saying you can speak to that mountain it's a mountain that, that's before you but your blessings is just on the other side of that mountain stay with me now you with me prophetess Mary yeah I got in the bag up over here in England your blessings is on the other side of that mountain. Now you can waste your time trying to climb the mountain or you can just speak to the mountain yes. the mountain will be removed. Yes! Yes! That's instantly. Yes! Speak into it by faith. Speak into it with all you got within you. Speak to that mountain. Plant the blood to that mountain. Plant the spirit of God to that mountain, and it shall be renewed. Glory to God. Ha! Glory be to God. Oh, let me, I'm almost finished. Bible said, uh, Say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. Now, watch this. He then went from cursing a fig tree. Come on now. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Just say this to fig tree, Prophet Mary. He, he then went from this, a fig tree. Y'all ever seen Mount Everest? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I'll get, I'll get to that. Or just about to the general. Amen. When I was over in Jerusalem, I seen some mountains. Seen, been on the mountain of uh, Mount of Olives. Been there. Huge mountain. Went from a fig tree to a mountain. So, he gonna go in your life from that, y'all ain't with me. Come on from now. That, thing that you've been fretting about. Yes. Amen. He said, look, you think that's something. I got something bigger that I'm going to deliver you from. All right now. I got something greater for you in your All life. All right now. I got something humongous and enormous in your life. Yes. I'm going to do, but all I need you to do is to grab hold of a little faith. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, my to a mountain. My God. All right. A mountain I weigh, I mean, it just over, over it, it towers over everything. Man. I ain't talking about something just here with a root to it. <laughs> just speak to that root and it'll dry up. But we talking about a mountain. Sometimes the mountains be so so tall, look like they in the clouds. Man. Am I right about it? You're right about it. You sure right about it. Watch this now. And Jesus said, all you got to do is to say unto this mountain, be thou removed. And what did that other part say? He said, 
and shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. We just found out, me and my wife was watching uh, Animal Kingdom, but it ain't called that, it's something else. We seen where something was so big in the sea, watch this now, that, that it came up and swallowed a shark. <laughs> something bigger than a shark come up and swallowed a shark like he was a tuna fish or something. It's some big stuff in that sea. So, so God says, speak to that mountain, it shall be cast into the sea. So it's some depth. And that's what he do to our sin. When we confess and repent, he throw our sins in the sea of forgiveness. Amen. To remember them no more. Amen. See, see, you ain't supposed to be walking around in your old self. You're supposed to be walking around in your new self, in your new life, in your new creation, in your new mindset, in your consecrated life, in your holy temple, which is your body is the holy temple. It's the change of our body is more than a body, but it's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We got to be filled with the Spirit. Yeah. Filled with the fruit. Amen. Amen. Operate in the gifts of the Spirit. That's what changes you. You ain't supposed to be thinking like you used to think. Amen. In your new life. Amen. Amen. You supposed to be praying now with power and conviction. Amen. And a firm faith in God. In the God that you serve. Amen. You got to talk like everything is all right. You got to walk like everything is all right. You got to carry yourself like everything is all right. You got to shout and praise God like everything is taken care of. Are you listening to me? Amen. You don't wait till the battle is over. You start shouting right now. Shout past everything that's against you. Shout past everything that you got to do. Shout past everything that's before you. Shout past the creditors. Shout past the debt. Shout past the lack. Shout past y'all in here and me. Shout past the poverty. Shout past being without. Shout past being in between. Hallelujah. My God. Got to get beyond that. Get there by faith. There's no other name under the heavens by man which man must be saved. Man. Other than the name of Jesus. That's the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whatever that thing is. In your life, I don't know one by one and name by name. Whatever that thing is, is beneath the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen again. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. See, faith and doubt cannot coexist. Either you're going to have faith in what you're praying about or you shouldn't even pray about it. When you pray about it, pray like God has already done it. That's how you pray. You don't get up saying, well, I pray. I don't know. I don't know if God gonna do it, but I pray. Now you got a doubt right there. Get up and shout. God, I gave it to you. I know you're gonna work it out. I know you're gonna make a way. I can see the deliverance coming. I see the increase coming. I see the blessing coming. I see the door opening, and I'ma praise you right now. I ain't gonna wait like it's going to snow. I'ma praise you right now. I'm not going to wait to get around to say, I'm going to pray you right now. I'm not going to wait to get around nobody. I'm going to give you the praise. Right now. 
by faith. It's time for us to start claiming our stuff. Your body has been a sacrifice. That's Romans 12. Your body is a living sacrifice, holy and accepted unto God. You can't just be living any kind of way, but you got to lift up some clean hands. And then sometimes when you pray and you have faith, God will do it just for his name's sake. Huh? Just because your child was bad in school, that don't mean they don't eat tonight. Are you listening to me? Well. <laughs> that, that don't mean you're not going to give them no clothes to put on because they act up. <laughs> we bless your hearts today. Amen. So that's how God is. He's going to chastise you a little bit. But he still blesses us with blessings that we, that we don't have no business with. Yes, yes, yes. My God. Just because who he is. For my name's sake. That's why God blesses you. For his name's sake. Amen. Even, even, even though the Hebrews messed up on many a time. But God kept on blessing them because the covenant that he made with Abraham. Some of us are being blessed just because of the covenant. Covenant blessings. Amen. All you got to do is pray and not doubt in your heart because faith counsels out doubt. But shall believe. This is Jesus talking. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. And some of us are just between God's spoken word. And the blessing is already released into the atmosphere. God just have a, a set time to bring that thing to pass. Yes, our ways is not God's ways, neither our thoughts, his thoughts, even as the heavens is high above the earth. In God's own good time. A day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day with the Lord. So God's time may not be what we see naturally. But God knows if we had seen all of this coming 20 years ago, and we been through a body a lot, I mean a plenty, but we still here. We still here, still praising him, still eating him, amen, enjoying life, going on vacations and buying clothes and amen, keeping the ones you have clean and amen, shoes that you've been here for a while, they ain't give out on you, amen. <laughs> so, so God is doing all right. He's doing great. Keeping us all this time. This is half of the years that Israel stayed in the wilderness. 20 years. You see that? And God is keeping us. He's doing it for his name's sake. Because his name is on this ministry. Some folks say we wouldn't last six months. We celebrate 20 years for his name's sake. Amen. Let folk know that he's a God that is able and he's Jehovah. He's still our provider. A few more minutes and I'm, I'm going to let you go. Take your time. Ah, the Bible says 
Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire. So you have to desire something. That's key. What do you desire? Have you found your purpose in life? See, you have to first of all have a desire because things come by desire. You can't just be walking around here not thinking about nothing, having nothing, doing nothing, going nowhere, just existing. Bible says, St. John 10.10, 10, I come that you may have life. And life more abundantly. Amen. So we have to desire. When you pray. Believe. That. Ye receive them. Talking about the things. And you shall have them. So when you praying about those things. Believe that you have them. Praying about what, preacher? Well, let's start off with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. So, I say start right there seeking the Holy Spirit. That, that's a good start right there. That's a good desire to have. Yeah. See, because once you seek the Holy Spirit with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, you shall receive it. You shall receive him. Yeah. Once you receive him, then the Bible says in Acts 1 and 8, ye shall have power after the Holy Ghost have come upon you. Once the Holy Ghost come upon you, Amen. You can start laying hands on yourself, on your head, on your legs, on your knees, and on your feet, your whole body. That's what the Holy Ghost would do for you. You already got, you have the goods. You have the treasure within. But see, I'm seeing something in the spirit right now. Some of us don't want to seek the Holy Ghost because we think that it'll cut in on our pleasures. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's some things that we want to do that the Holy Ghost is going to interfere with. <laughs> we, ain't really, we ain't ready to give it all up just to lose some, something, something. Amen. This just have to do. No, God wants more of you. Amen. He wants you to trust him to give him everything that you think give you pleasure. And then he's going to give you more pleasure on top of that pleasure. He's going to give you joy on top of that joy. He come that our joy may be full. And in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. So those things that you think that you have to have, you're going to find out that you really didn't need it anyhow. Amen. You tell the truth now. Am I talking in this house? Yes, you tell the truth now. <laughs> Woo, my God. Get it up. Look at somebody say, get it up. Give it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see something here. And it's Thank you. Somebody say, go deeper. Go deeper. Oh, yeah. I see something. Amen? Amen. Some things that we're going to have to release. Amen. To get to that next level. Amen. And I speak as a prophet of God in here. As soon as you get that thing, I mean really put it at the altar. You're going to see a quick return. I see a quick manifestation. Amen. I see blessings overtaking you. Are you listening to me? see something in this house. Amen. I see God doing a quick work. 
soon as you give him your heart, I see a quick work coming to pass in your life. Man, I received it. I see blessings overflowing. I see your help improving. I see God sending help your way. Glory to God. Yes. Nothing you're going to sacrifice for the kingdom say that God will restore to you a hundredfold. Thank you. Are you listening to me? Yeah. It's just the beginning of God's increase. When you do it, just like the Holy Spirit say do it. It's just the beginning of your increase, your overflow, your more than enough. Amen. Receive it. God is not blessing us because, amen, we've just been, been, been perfect, but he's blessing because you've been faithful. I want y'all to get that today. Amen. Then you're going to start speaking to things. And, and, and it's going to just, just suck you. You're going to look out your window one day. You, after you done pray, you're going to look with expectation and say that mountain is gone. Hallelujah. Somebody say it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I did say look out the window, didn't I? Yes. It, it's bigger than your house. Yes. It's bigger than your surroundings. Yes. It's bigger than your front yard or your backyard. Right. I say look out the window. All right now. You preaching good now. <laughs> Come on, get a little of hand praise, huh? Oh, my God. By faith. We shall receive it. This is our 20th year. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It didn't go by like no <sighs> sigh either. We had to go through the valleys. And praise God. We had to sacrifice and be steadfast and unremovable. Man. We had to believe God against all odds. Amen. Amen. To get here. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. Praise saints of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout if you got it. Say, I got just what I want. I got just what I want. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to extend the invitation.